Blah. Blah, blah. Hello. Whoa. Happy Monday, everybody. Or Tuesday for some. It depends on where you're at. Um, sorry in advance for all the noise. My family doesn't know how to be quiet as usual. So, okay. Um, today, tonight was supposed to be a writing stream, but we're going to be saving that for maybe tomorrow. I might do an extra stream this week, but yeah. And hello, Lumi. Thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Um, I got a new game today and it's very new and it looks like just my type of game. It's a, uh, it's one of those uh, survival city builder type games. Uh, sort of like uh, oh, Banished, if you've ever played that, or maybe Frostpunk, something like that. So yeah, people told me it's supposed to be really difficult, but also really fun to play. So we're going to try it out. And it released on the 9th, so it came out not too long ago. It came out about last week, Tuesday. So yeah, it hasn't been out for that long. So. Yeah, let's just go ahead and give it a try. Um, so, as a reminder, uh, Saturday will be the VTuber Frenzy episode. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of people playing golf together. It's going to be real fun. And also, uh, Friday, we're going to be playing Uno with uh, Raku. So that's going to be fun. In any case, um, I'm going to be trying to stream a lot more. Okay, let me make sure my music's turned off since this has its own music. Okay, hold on. Real quick. Okay. Uh, let me make sure this all works. Um... Hello, Iowa. Thank you so much for dropping by. Really appreciate it. Okay. This is what the game looks like then. Very nice. I can already tell it's going to be an interesting game. Um, hopefully it isn't too difficult and hopefully we can actually do something. But yeah, we'll see. We will see. All right. Okay, let's just go ahead and start now. We're going to do Pioneer first because people told us to. Um, they said to do Lakes first. Apparently Lakes is supposed to be the best one to start with. Um, there we go. We'll call it Prima, as in the first. And hello, Cons. Thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with this. Um, yeah. Life can be harsh everywhere. But in the old world, there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. The nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave, that we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness seeking the promise of a new land and starve to death in our homeland. Mm. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. But this wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. Yeah. I really like this. It has a really nice art style already. Supposedly the graphics and everything are supposed to be amazing on this game, so I'm kind of excited to look at it. Um, let's see. What well, I see. Let's 
so yeah supposedly there's a lot you need to really worry about in this there's of course food water making sure everybody is healthy and then there's like the seasons and all that that come through and you can also get diseases that break out and all that so this game definitely throws a lot of challenges at you so i'm kind of interested to see how to work this out this should be the easiest mode to start on and it should be pretty easy to get the hang of somebody told me to start on this and just uh, learn as you go so yeah we'll see Taking a while to load. Okay. Oh. Okay, uh, town center. We finish scouting the surrounding area, survey the land your villagers have explored, and choose a promising site to construct your town center. It's important to choose a location that's near the resources you'll need to build a successful settlement, things like clay, iron ore, and potential food sources. I am assuming, like any good town, you might want it near water. So is there any water around here? That is not... Okay, this is the water's edge. Okay, so we need to settle it like right here-ish. Yes. Let's settle it down here. We want to keep our civilization near the water. Because if we've learned anything from history, the water is the life source of everything. Alright, so yeah, click middle mouse to rotate. Can I use E and... Nope, that doesn't do that. Okay. Okay. Toggle overlays, game speed. Okay, so there's even different game speeds. Okay. Okay. Rotate. Okay. Overall, so far, really pretty game, especially for something of this genre. I really like the way it looks. Too early to tell, but I don't know how the difficulty will be. Everybody starts out as unhappy, um, because yeah, nobody has shelters or anything, so of course, they're not going to be happy. Okay, this is the fastest mode. Okay, um, do we need to harvest these? Okay. Quick, quick, yes, get some wood, uh, hello Savage, thank you so much for dropping by, I really appreciate it, we're just trying out a new game, okay, they got some wood, nice, 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 okay, Town center is done. Okay. We have lots of basic needs already. That's good. Okay. We need shelters and we need some cleanliness. They need soap. Okay. Um, 
this game definitely did not tell us how to do anything right off the bat, so that's great. Um, I guess building menu, housing, shelters. Can we start with some shelters? Okay, um, start with that. Build some shelters. Let's harvest these resources because they're near the river's edge and we can use the river. Firewood. How do we get firewood? Amenities. This is not what we need. Um, resources. Okay, oh, harvesting resources. Resources like logs or stone must be marked for re harvest before laborers will collect them. Harvest menu can be enabled by toggling the harvest button on the bottom right toolbar or by pressing the H key. Okay, harvest all of this. That is all for you guys to use. So, how do we get firewood? Is firewood just gathered when they get regular wood, and then there's stuff left over? I'm assuming, maybe? Because I have no idea. This game does not give you any pointers. Uh, it's definitely not going to baby you. So, we're figuring, out, we're figuring out how things work for ourselves. <laughs> Uh, clean water source. Build a well nearby. We need a well. Okay. Um, resources. Basic well. Okay. Let us do... Right here. Okay, firewood splitter produces firewood. Okay, we need this because this will give us our firewood. I have no idea if we have to place roads anywhere. Um, walls and roads. Dirt road. Okay. I don't think we need roads that much. It'll help for when we have bigger towns, but I don't think we need it right now. We need more resources and stuff before anything. Food production. We're gonna need food. Hunter cabin, forager shack, fishing shack, crop field, and smokehouse. Let's start with the hunter cabin. Uh, thank you, Nika, so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. And let's also do a fishing shack because we have a lot of lake side here. Additional housing. We need more houses. Nice. Okay, we are already expanding. Seems pretty good. Firewood is low. Yes, I know. This guy is doing firewood though, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, 
We've gotten quite a lot of stuff here. We are expanding pretty quick. I have no idea if I'm doing good or not because this game doesn't tell you anything. So we could be starting out really bad or really good. I have no clue. We have seven. Okay. Um, we have a good amount of food. We have hunters now. Yes. Okay. P. Okay. Um, we have a fisherman. We have a hunter. We have a firewood splitter. Um, okay. And these are all our different jobs. We want soap. We need a soap maker. How do we make soap? Resources. Saw pit. Tannery. Cobbler shop. Fletcher, basket, compost. Okay, there is a lot of stuff. When do we get to soap? Soap is very, very important. Soap shop. Okay. We need to upgrade our town center for that. We need eight shelters. We need a market. Okay, winter is settled in. That is not good. Winter is going to hit us hardest. So yeah, the seasons pass really quick. Like, really quick. So I need to be very cautious of when winter settles in. I am expecting we're going to lose some people now. And that is fine. Forager shack. We need a forager. That will help us. Seven people have arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? Let's accept them. That's more people we can use. We'll take that. We will take that. And the more hands at the beginning, the better. Plus, it gives us closer to the population we need. We're at 21 now. Bustling market. We need market. Yep. Okay. Um, let's build a market. Amenities. Saw pit. Storehouse. We need to build a stockyard. Okay. Food stocks are low. We need to start storing things more. Okay. Okay, we will build a saw pit after this is built. Okay. Things are getting big. We're getting pretty big town already. I'm keeping everything as close as possible.
we go. Nice, okay. And now we should be able to build a market. Okay, now we need a storehouse. Okay. So let's build a storehouse. Let us harvest this area. Right. Lots of stuff to get. Lots of stuff to get. The more we grab, the better. That's what we're that's what we're best at as humans. We tear down everything and then we turn it into housing. Okay, there we go. That's how we redo their work radius. So now they're going to go over here instead. Okay, that should do better. All right, that's how we get the most there. Okay, um, pave paradise and put up a parking lot. Yep. And then set up a home, a home depot for everybody to go to. Okay. And now we get to build a market. Big boy market. Alright. Good. We need another well here. All right, there we go. We need food. We need a lot of food now. All we have is fish. We need a smokehouse. Yes, I know food stocks are low. It is alarming. Um, please work over here. Okay. Hopefully, with the smokehouse, we can start smoking these fish, and people can eat that. We need to take advantage of uh, our fishing here. Right. Hot ore. Hot ore is going to make us some fish. Right. And plus, if it'll also go around a lot more if it is smoked, so that's going to help us with food. We do need some crops. I feel like a crop field would do good.
Let's make a field that is like that. Okay, so we're gonna make this sort of a resources part of town, and they're gonna get resources from here, and then we'll expand this way for buildings and stuff. Okay. We need to make sure we keep our uh, resources and our people separate. It'll be easier to manage. Oh, yeah, now people have food. So, that's good. Foragers. Where is our forager? Right. We need this person to work around here. Go over here and work for a while. Thank you. Food and loss of spoilage. We should not be losing food this spoilage. We should be using all of it, if possible. It's fine if it's spoiling a bit, but we do need to find a way to refrigerate or keep it for longer. I'm assuming one of these is going to be for that. Preservist. Yeah, we're going to need this, which we are yet to get. Okay. We are still waiting for population, but we have everything else. So that's good. Soon enough. We need food. Pretty bad. We're gonna have to wait until winter pass passes until we get this. And plus I don't think we can fish during the winter. Crap, the food went quick. This doesn't look good. Are we going to be able to hold out for the winter? Let's move the hunter over here. Oh boy. I think we're doing pretty okay for the first game. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Should be a lot smoother now. Whoa. Oh. Are you saving? I don't. Just a lag spike. Okay. Okay. So, so far, I think it's been a pretty okay game. I like it. Luckily, we're coming out of winter. It should start to get warmer, and we should be able to stockpile some food. We definitely need it. Look at that. The snow's melting away. Let's go. We didn't lose anybody, so that's good.
fruit cellar. Let's use a root cellar. That could help. So we're storing food at a better temperature. We definitely want to construct that now so we can fill it up. Yearly taxes collected. Epic. Okay. Should we place another fishing shack, maybe? Let's get a lot of fish. Food stocks are low again. Gosh, food is so hard. Okay. Come on, lads, come on. Let's do some work. Slowly but surely. Come on, lads, come on. Work it. Nice. Okay. What is our good crop rotation? Crap. Okay. Um. Uh. 
Okay. This is gonna be tough. We need to figure out the crop rotation for this game. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think that is good. God, why are why is food so low all the time? Not good. Can we set up another hunter's cabin? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Now we have carrots. Lots of food now. Okay, so now we need to wait for next cycle to plant. Winter is coming. got three new people too not the best time for them to come in I would have preferred them come in at the beginning of the next year but we can't make those choices it just happens winter is settled in they cannot work on this farm it will have to be wait it'll have to be until next year Okay, so each of these boxes is a season. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we're in uh, October. Now we're settling into November. Oh boy, it just got really cold. <laughs>
You can get really close to see everything. It's pretty neat. Even animated pretty much everything. That's really nice. It's very simple looking, but it, it looks nice. We had food for the entire winter, that's a good sign. And now we got some more crops that we're doing. We should be able to do real good with harvesting and planting. Right, so they're already planting for this year. We're probably going to get a better harvest since they're going to be doing this more than once this year. And we're going to have another field, so that's good. Good! We need to move this, so I'm going to move it over here into a new territory. I'm going to let the hunters go into very new areas and hunt. Alright, so yeah, this person's coming around. Ooh, greens. Let's get our forager over there. A building is on fire. Oh, Jesus. That is new. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Well, at least people were really quick to put it out. So I guess that's an advantage. Uh, I can see why we're gonna need roads because of that spreads because yeah that's how they combated fires back in the days they just had roads okay bam 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 and then it would be bam Bam. Bam. Right. Looking good. We're getting progress done. It's looking nice. So yeah. We're just picking up everything. There's a lot of stuff here. Two new villagers are born. Let's go. They're reproducing. And we can upgrade. Well, let's do that. It's time to upgrade our town center. We are expanding. Crops lost to heat stress. That is not good. How can we combat that? Is there a way to combat this? Is there no way for them to water it? Arborist. Bakery windmill. Okay, 
Okay, so we need a windmill and then the bakery to use that. Let's do that then. Okay. Bakery. Can I rotate this? How do I rotate it? Tab. We are doing work. How do we get heavy tools? We can get soap now, that's going to be useful. We need heavy tools. Well, this should work. This should be good. We need to place that. Okay, we need heavy tools. How do I get heavy tools? Mm. Crap, we need this. Okay, um... We cannot get that yet. Let us get the rest of this stuff because we might need it. Basket shop. And then compost yard. Okay, we are saving. So far, this game is definitely interesting. I assume this will get a lot harder as we go into different game modes, but we are on the easiest setup. It does seem really fun. I really enjoy this sort of game. So there's wildlife killing stuff here. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, looks like winter is finally ending, and the spring is beginning. Let's go. It's time to get to work. What are our requirements here? Okay, we need clay. We need a school. We need homesteads. There's a lot of stuff here. So I assume if we upgrade the shelters is how we get homesteads. Correct? Are we able to relocate this somehow? Relocate building location. I was about to say. Let us place this out here. There. Okay, now we've set up some roads out to these sh hunter cabins. That should help. Heat stress. How do we fight heat stress? That is the question. I'm sure there's something here that helps it. Apiary. Honey. That could be a good thing to get. Pottery. We're definitely going to need this stuff. So I'm going to... Go ahead and build this stuff.
Okay, they definitely want this. Let's put it right there. A charcoal can. And then an armory. All right, I'm building a lot of stuff, but it's gonna be useful. These guys are working overtime at the saw pit. We should probably build a second one. Let's prioritize this, this one. So they build the saw pit first, and then we can get more resources for these buildings. Whoa. Slow and steady. There we go. Winter is coming. Yeah, bet. Let's save this for last, so I'm going to enable that construction later. I want them to do these first. Whew. Our town's getting pretty nice. Pretty nice and dainty. Okay, we need to bring up the desirability. 
It's gonna be difficult to do. We're gonna have to move things around. Most definitely. Okay, they most definitely want a school. Have anything to give us clay? Okay, we have a lot of a lot of food now. We need clay. get clay.
Mm -hmm. Bah, blah, blah. I have no idea how we get clay. That is an issue. Oh dear. Just looking good. We should set up roads, that would be best. But yeah. It's gonna be kind of hard to move everything now. I guess this is our first run, so I don't mind if we fail, but we're doing pretty okay. Next time, we'll know the setup roads. Quarry used for the extraction of clay. How do we get clay? Because, yeah, there are some deposits here, but how do we get it? Oh, I think this is how we do it. Year number seven. Let's go.
Oh. Oh shoot. It didn't kill anybody, did it? It doesn't look like it did. That is definitely not good, though. Luckily, it's runoff. Ninety-three percent happiness. That's pretty good. We have a soap house. Not sure if it's doing much yet. How do we get, how do we get that? Let's place this here then. Ah, uh, this is what we need. This man's doing all the work. Jeez. Definitely doing well for ourselves. 
Of course, the crops are taking a plunge every summer, but that's fine. It won't hurt us none. Oh no, someone has cholera. Oh Christ, that's not good. Let's just hope it doesn't spread. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh. Well, it's being cured. Contaminated water. They have wells, so it should be fine. We do need to make sure that there are wells for everywhere, though. Yeah, everywhere has wells. So they're good. We'll get over through that. It just happens. We only need trees right now. So let's get the trees. We need more wood. Slowly but surely. if we can move this over here. There we go. Should be a lot better if we move all this over here. And the forager will be in more of a wilderness area. Once we get this work camp, we should be able to build up some stuff around here. Progress, progress. We're slowly working through it. Oh gosh, someone is struck in with typhoid. Um, okay. We do need somebody for rat catching.
Okay. Slowly but surely. We really need wood. We definitely need more laborers, but yeah. It ain't gonna kill us, but it's definitely slowing us down. Thank you so much, uh, Ostar. I'll just until I'll just say Ost think or Alts. Uh, not sure how to say your name. I just say, uh, Darvel. <laughs> integer. Okay, hold on. That's integer. Ostarva. Ostar. Ots. Ostarva. Ots. Okay, I'll just say Ots. Thank you, Ots, so much for the follow. <laughs> That's a hard name to read. <laughs> okay, lots of people are getting typhoid. Very not good. We're slowly waiting to get clay and stuff. We definitely need to keep getting wood, which is not happening right now. Not good. Um. Can I get some people to do some harvesting, please? Where... Where are our laborers at? Is there no way we can assign more laborers? Because we definitely need that right now. Apparently we need another forager is what it's recommending us to do. Okay. Our building has slowed down a lot. Okay, we need more people for labor. Okay. Okay, let's bring this down here. Bring up the six laborers. We need a graveyard now. Yikes. We need to bury the we need to bury the dead as soon as possible because they could spread disease, I'm pretty sure. Make it quick. We have more people doing harvesting. We definitely need that for right now. We need uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff for that. Because we need wood and we need to build this stuff. Because the sooner we do, the better we can do in the future, so... 
get at it. Yep. Doing some work. For the first game, I think this is pretty okay. I do have some struggles. And I think that's good, considering this is the easiest mode, I still have things I need to worry about. It just shows that there will be stuff to do as we play into harder, the harder difficulties. Firewood is low. Jesus. Okay, um... Who is splitting firewood? Let's bring it back up to four sorrows. I think we need it. Crap. Is it because we're not harvesting wood? That might not be good. good. He was attacked by something. The hunter got a little cheeky. Crap, we don't have firewood and winter's coming up. That is not good. Whew. Get rid of the farmers for right now. They do not need the farm. We need them to get stuff. We're good for food right now. We just need them to uh, harvest and get resources. We really need it. Not good, not good. This could be the end if we don't manage to get back on our feet. I think we can push through. There might be a couple deaths though because we do not have firewood. Oh boy. Come on. Push through. Just bundle up and stay warm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here comes the coldest part of the season. We're getting wood, finally. He's making firewood. 
Come on. They are working. Okay, we're definitely getting stuff. Let's go. We got firewood. We are not going to die. <laughs> Thank God. Let's go. People survived. Okay, we need the harvest. A lot. These guys are going to do some work. Just harvest. Harvest all that. Get rid of all these trees. We don't need them. How do I get rid of stuff here? Clear. Oh, jeez. Shift, click. Right. Harvest all this stuff over here. This is closer to the town. There we go. We're doing some work. I'm not completely shit at this game. That's all that matters. <laughs> Ain't that right, chat? <laughs> and we are getting clay finally. So we can finally do stuff with it. That is good. Because we need clay for all these buildings here. back on our feet. That's good. We're not fighting for food anymore, so we can manage to just harvest and get resources for now. Oi. Come on. Fight him off. Run, bro, run. We have people fighting. Right. There ain't no way they're gonna stick against us. Come on, kill this guy. Yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, where are they going? Are they retreating? This guy's healed back up. We need people to heal. Um, that's most certain. They're running away though. They didn't do much. I think they pillaged this a little bit. Are we able to repair this? How do we repair? I'm guessing they just repair it automatically. Jeez, they took so much gold. Oh God. Okay, we need defenses. So yeah. We're going to invest in this. Slowly but surely, and build that. Because we most definitely need it. We're gonna need defenses. I wish I knew we were gonna need that earlier. Oh 
Um, anyways, I think I'm gonna end stream because it has been a good hour and a half now. And I have stuff I need to do, so, yeah. Lost one, but we got three. Circle of life. everybody that just cut down trees people are getting sick we need some soap now there you guys do soap we need soap What am I aiming for in this game? Uh, it's just a survival game, so you, you just have to get as far as possible, pretty much. This is the easiest start, because this is my first time playing it. This is a very new game. So, I'm just figuring out how everything works. We'll see how far we can get in this, and then eventually we'll move on to harder difficulties and stuff. But yeah, so far I've enjoyed it. It definitely isn't as hard as, like, Frostpunk, but Frostpunk is, like, hardcore. Because in Frostpunk is always winter, so you always have to worry about stuff like that. And it gets pretty messed up in Frostpunk, where you have to force people to eat sawdust and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> so, it, you, it depends on your flavor of survival game. This is pretty chill. It's not too hard. Like if this was if this was Frostpunk, I'd be dead already. So, yeah. But yeah, there is definitely there's definitely some challenge to this. It ain't bad. Yeah, I like survival games. Especially uh, chill ones and cooperative ones. I don't like competitive sort of ones unless you have like team-based com competitive. It depends. But yeah. Anyways, I feel like we should save. Right? Okay. Uh, quit. Right. Okay. Um, thank you so much, uh, everybody, for dropping by. I really appreciate it. We went for a good two hours, played a new game. Um, I will probably stream tomorrow if I'm not doing anything, and we can do some writing and stuff. So we'll hang out and chill tomorrow night as well. If I'm able to stream, I'll update everybody. 
But I'll definitely be here on Wednesday, and that will be an open stream. I'm thinking we might play House Flipper, because I just recently got that too, and I thought it might be a pretty chill stream to just relax to and have fun. So we might play that. And then uh, Friday, we'll be doing Uno with some friends. And then Saturday, we'll be doing the second episode of my game show. So definitely be there for that. You don't want to miss Saturday stream. And it'll be starting at the same time. It's always 9.30 EST. So it's a pretty good time for most people. So keep it in your calendar. Keep it there. I stream five times a week minimum. So I'm always around. And yeah, if you're interested in any of my other socials, just be sure to go down into my panels and look at all my stuff. There's my Twitter, and there's my Discord, and there's all sorts of other things. So yeah, if that's your interest, then go ahead. Um, in any case, um, that's all from me tonight. I'm going to log off now. Uh, thank you all. All right, have a good morning, day, or evening, or night, whatever it may be. And yeah, Jana. Mwah. Thank you.